Thank you, Marley. Um, yeah, this is the Legend of the Dark Witch. It's the second game of the series. Uh, maybe these two awesome guys who I totally didn't drag over here want to introduce themselves? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm Killer Chair. I played Sonic Ball yesterday, and I'm very familiar with Mega Man S games. I'm a Static Nerd. Uh, I'm not really familiar with these games, but I will be wearing a Fez in a few hours. That's enough reason. Yeah, there you go. I guess uh, if uh, we're ready, uh, we can start the game. Uh, can I have a countdown? Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. Yeah, so... Quick recap on the story of this game. We're a god. <laughs> There's countries who want to weaponize magic crystals uh, for war, and we're gonna stop them. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. Good enough reason to for us, the god of magical powers, in other words, the Dark Witch, to go down to the earth and uh, intervene. Um, right as we start, you can see there's a power-up bar at the bottom. Uh, those butterflies uh, that you see when I kill enemies, uh, they essentially fill up the bar and we can install slots uh, as soon as they are filled. And they just give upgrades that are really useful like um, more shots, etc. Um, essentially, we're also going to be getting new abilities. Uh, this game is Mega Man esque, uh, meaning there's also going to be bosses we defeat, and those bosses drop an ability, um, as well as uh, there's an ability we're going to get in the store soon. We're actually not going to use any of the boss abilities, uh, but it's going to be a while, so I'm going to explain that later. Going to get here on purpose. Um, the main thing in this game is um, that we're gonna collect a few of those crystals. You just saw me pick up, uh, pick up one. Um, and those uh, store-bought powers, we need those crystals for them. We're picking up all four in the stage, uh, in this first stage. And the reason we do this stage first is because it's linear. Um, we will get a dash in our, in our shopping, uh, which comes after this boss, but... Um, uh, to reach the, some of those crystals in other stages, we need that dash, and uh, yeah, we first have to buy it. Well, why did I get hit? Well, there's this thing called revenge magic, and it's kind of strong. Nice. Yeah. Yep. We're that gonna was first boss. <laughs> yeah, the bosses are actually really easy. Um, the last boss can be tricky, but it's going to be a while. So. So I'm gonna do some quick menuing here. Nice. Yeah, yeah the menus are quite quick. Um, so what I just did is I bought two new uh, tunic things for the upgrade bar at the bottom. Uh, they're called Express and Dash. Um, Express is just an upgrade version of Speed, Dash, well, yeah. It's a dash. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna make everything faster. And there's one important thing about the dash, and that's uh, mid-air. If you're mid-air, uh, you can dash for longer, and when you hit the ground, it totally resets your dash timer, so you can dash more. So I kind of messed up here. There's a crystal here we have to get. Um, there's one more upgrade we're gonna get, and uh, aside from that, we're not gonna pick up any crystals. Aside from those, we might need to upgrade the um, upgrade power, which essentially means that we're gonna have stronger uh, attacks. And that just means bosses die faster, as well as me, because I just messed up there. Um, I just reset, because in the end, um, you, if you die, you lose a lot of upgrades um, and it can just be faster to reset because you're, you can easily gather up all your upgrades and I'm just gonna rush through because those blue crystals, they don't respawn, meaning we can just skip them now. That's some immediate backup strats there. Well, it's just if you're in time to uh, if in time to reset, uh, yeah, yeah. it's nice. And we're already past the point where we died. The dash actually saves a lot of time, so. Uh, this is, uh, 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 yeah, something I forgot to mention. All bosses are uh, researchers uh, for that country that's trying to weaponize magic crystals. Um, I don't know. They don't really look like researchers to me, but yeah, 
Blalt. I mean, magic. Yeah. Uh, that's enough reason. I agree. I mean, we're the goddess of magical powers after all, so... Ah. Yeah, so the orbs to the left and the right are the revenge magic. Uh, if that's full, you can use it. And it's pretty overpowered. Yeah, we, we have to get uh, hit twice during the wall stage to uh, use revenge magic. Oh, I forgot something. Um, we have to get hit twice to use revenge magic. Bosses, uh, when they just uh, lose enough health, they can use their revenge magic. That went... That... Nice menuing. What I forgot is getting punished. We really need that, and you will see why soon. Um, so yeah, um, this is the only researcher in the game that makes sense, because they're a military researcher, whatever that might be, but it seems the only one that's useful in war, so... You guys have any questions so far? Well, at the start of each of these matches, you start in like a weird green background, vague, abstract thing. Like, what, what's that all about? Um, so can you repeat that? There's, like, at the start of these levels, you like have these weird green areas would almost oh. look digital or... Oh yeah, so um, I forgot to tell, but because we're a god, we actually have to travel to the human dimensions. What you see at the start of each stage is basically us heading to a new part of the world of the human world. Because yeah, we're a god. We don't live where the humans live. Right. I have to be careful at those uh, jumping pads because they if you dash directly on them, they keep your momentum and that can be really tricky because the dash is very sensitive in controls. Yeah, you really don't want to fall into a pit this close to the end yeah. of the stage. Dying on a boss is less bad because you, uh, even though you lose all your upgrades, you're at least in the boss room, so it's just fighting the boss normally. That was a very quick kill there. Yeah, that, that's uh, Punish, the last upgrade we just bought. Essentially what it does is, um, unlike the other attack, uh, which is Comet, um, this one uh, bases the... Uh, when whether it hits or not is determined by the hitbox of the boss. So essentially, if it hits the hitbox of the boss, it hits. That sounds very unlogical, but essentially that allows us to clip through the boss twice because the attack, uh, as you can see, it's pretty large, the attack hitbox, meaning we hit the boss twice with the same attack. And it's a charge attack, meaning we even get to hit it for a lot more damage than we should. And now I'm on one heart and I should be careful. And they didn't drop any hearts. How do you like the music of this game? Yeah, it's amazing. It's very good. This is an indie game, but I really think the music is pretty great. There's also a music player, so... Yeah, like, they all have their, their own unique little uh, theme without, like... Changing the sound entirely. That was stupid. That's gonna lose me sometime. Well, I kind of made my estimate for this. Um, these tiny mistakes can cost you a lot of time, so I'm just gonna reset the stage. Probably shouldn't in this stage, but regardless, now that I did, I'm just gonna rush through it. Not much other options. Those fishes actually have a worse version of them, we will see later. <laughs> so there's not many glitch in the game, but uh, one of the only glitches that can happen is that that boulder just despawns if you, you go out of the, if it goes out of the screen. Okay, there we are. Well, this is Herbert. Of course. <laughs> Great name. Yeah. <laughs> Their revenge magic is the worst of all bosses. But I don't think we're gonna see it now, maybe later. It's the worst because it comes with the most immunity frames, right? 
Um, what it does, it no, that that's the other one. This is oh, the right. worst in the sense of it's the weakest. Oh, oh, this is the shield one. Yeah, this yeah. is a shield. Right. The thing about the shield is the hitbox get larger, meaning it or attack hits one extra time, meaning he dies faster. Now comes Mary. Uh, this is the favorite boss of uh, Crippe. He's the leaderboard admin, and he ran this game a few years ago as well at uh, some marathons. He also kind of explained me a lot of things in the game, so it's really fun uh, having been able to run this. This was my first speed game, after all. Ah, oh, man, I'm choking today. All right. There was some weird knockback on that. Hit. Uh, yeah, the, the it, it there's always some knockback. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the annoying thing with enemies that are close to the edge. You're always gonna get knocked back into a pit. Just gonna rush a bit. What's that weird line uh, halfway through the stage when the background changes? Uh, that's uh, that's what I said before. Um, we're traveling to the human world, so when you see that, we're getting into the human world. Oh. I thought it was completely at the beginning, but it's halfway through then. Okay. Halfway through? Uh, not sure what you mean. Uh, I'm a bit confused. I'm on one heart, so I'm a bit careful right now. Oh, this is the drunk one. Yeah, she, she's pretty drunk. You'll see by her first attack. <laughs> Hope this hits her. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> she just wanted to get hit really badly, I guess. Just leaping right into it. We all have those days. Indeed. <laughs> It's just me before my coffee. <laughs> yeah. I guess she thought that was her coffee, maybe. Yeah, probably. Purple coffee, huh? So, by the way, all of these enemies have their names. I just don't know any of them because there's a lot of them. Um, but they're really fun to look at, and this game also does a good job at actually showing off which enemies there are. Um, they have a book listing them all, um, and I think that's fun because it's an indie game, and uh, for achievements you also unlock certain uh, things like art they made before the game came out, and it's just, you can see that stuff in the gallery, and it's really fun. A lot of the art in this game is actually quite cute, in my opinion, so it's just fun having to look at that. Arrow, always jump for that one. This is the one with the revenge magic that slows down time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's the ultimate count for speedrunners. But uh, if I don't mess up, we shouldn't be seeing it, so... Might have messed up? Yeah, might have messed up. A little bit. Oh well, at least you see it now. It's only one hit. <laughs> yeah, it's a few seconds, but yeah, this game with how short the runs are, the seconds do matter. Yeah. So now it's spooky mansion time. After we, yeah, arrived there, I guess. Oh yeah, so fun fact, if you die uh, midway through a stage, uh, the intermission part, it's, it becomes, uh, the, the background actually changes to that of the stage as well. It doesn't refer back to this greenish background. But yeah, this is probably a haunted house or something. Yeah, whatever it is, I could probably use a broom in there. <laughs> I imagine so, yeah. I can use some hearts. Oh yeah, this stage is also keen to lagging. If you, there's a lot of projectiles on the screen, especially with these electrical fences, the game tends to lag if you spam too many projectiles. So that's why we don't do that. Yeah, you can also dash too fast for the butterflies so they stay on screen and that also ha helps with the lag. Yeah, the butterflies we really want to pick up though. Um, it's mainly annoying when you dash faster than your own projectiles, which we do. So 
that kind of uh, uh, means we have to slow down at times to make sure, yeah, we don't uh, end up getting hit. With one heart, so I gotta be. Uh, I don't think that's gonna clip twice, but yeah. There we go. Nice. Um, yeah, we're almost at the last boss. But first, we're gonna do some shopping. You always do that before the final boss, right? So she researches nerves. Ah. Hmm. Magic. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is gonna help weaponizing uh, magic crystals, but... <laughs> I don't know, maybe make other people less nervous while making magic happen? Yeah. Huh. Lore. Science. <laughs> Perfect. Gotta be careful here. That walnut, you cannot defeat it, so it stays in the air and it can knock you into that pit re really easily, so always slow down a bit. We have time for a quick donation. Of course. All right, we've got a five euro donation from Haven saying, shout out to my boy, someone. It's 7.40 in the morning, my eyes are burning, but here I am catching your run. Good luck on the run. Yatta! Yatta! Hey Haven! Thanks for staying up, damn. Haven is the person who I actually... I, before uh, before the marathon event, when I heard I was accepted, we started routing the game again. Um, so yeah, big shout out to them for actually helping me make my route, doing the effort to actually have a written route, because there really isn't a written route of this game, or, well, now there is. Um, and fun fact, because I use a little more safe strats, my route actually is quite different. Oh yeah, now we're just gonna hold B and yeah, let's go. Ah, cool. Speedruns. Yeah. I, I was wondering how the spamming was so fast. <laughs> yeah, so fun fact, we're, we're now gonna visit some old friends. Friends. Yeah, we're, we're gonna ha have some friends help invading a country. I mean, that's what friends are for. Indeed, indeed. I mean, if you really think about it, we're, we're just bothering everyone. We're, we're God. Why don't we stay up there? Guess we have to protect the balance or something. Uh, God's got bored sometimes, I suppose. Just do whatever. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing as well. I'll show in the ending cutscene. It's like, they actually are like, why, why should I not do this? And they're like, well, because it's not fun. I'm on one heart again, this is not good. Drop a heart, nope. <laughs> no luck at all. Nope. Those Oof. things I'm afraid for. These are like an upgrade version of the enemies you saw earlier. And they just fire two of those bolts that return. So they're kind of tricky to avoid. And yeah, they are tricky. And the game was just totally taunting you by dropping a heart at the edge of the screen. Did it? Oh yeah. no. <laughs> nice heart. Right over there, actually. Oh. It's, it's, it's fun. Oh, thank you, our game. I would have died if it didn't happen. Um, there's enemies hidden behind the pillars. The next stage is actually quite, uh, yeah, quite annoying. Haven knows the stage well. Um, you'll see in a bit, but uh, during the stage, I'm probably gonna concentrate a lot, so yeah. Anyway, first Codino. Should be, no, I missed the clip. Well. No, we get to see her. Yeah, just yeah. Barely not. <laughs> we only get to see her animation when she's invulnerable because, yeah, unfortunately, time loss. <laughs> so yeah, next stage, her subtitle, Moody Beast. I, I feel <laughs> like this is me with this stage. I, yeah. I'll, I'll be concentrating, so if the host has anything to say or you guys have anything to say, go ahead. Sure, I've got a donation to read. 
A 24 euro donation from Turambar saying, keep up the good work. Let's go for 1,000 plus within the next hour. That's a, that's a challenge to all of you guys. And uh, mind if I keep going a little bit? No, go ahead. Sure. Uh, we are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in, this, in the Benelux for speedrunners. We're currently streaming our bi-monthly event in eSports Gaming Arena in Al van der Rijn. We're raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fighting cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher, quali higher quality of life for those already battling disease. All of your donations will go to the Dutch Sans Cancer Society. So here you can see the fish that pretty much in eight directions shoot out spikes. Yeah, they're the upgrade version of the fish I said earlier. <laughs> and they stay on screen, the top one traveling along. Yeah, there's also the ones that come from below, which are arguably wars. Yeah, I've seen a few runs of yours where those fish have been really trolly. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it happened during practice just now as well. Ah. I'm gonna go slow here just for that. It's the next one, this one. Yeah, there they are, one, two, three. Yeah, I don't blame you for those. I've seen exactly nice. those types of fish <laughs> in Mega Man games, just absolutely wreck runs. Yeah, they're very they're because of they're slightly off cycle as well. Oh, I heard Jenga going. Yeah, uh, because they're slightly off cycle, it gets worse. Uh, uh, you mistime them. You think they've already gone down, but they haven't. Oh yeah, by the way, using our revenge magic does make us invulnerable for a short time as well. Oh yeah, nice. and this is the only boss you can actually die. Uh, uh, off after you defeat them because there you can fall off the stage and that happened in my casual playthrough <laughs> it's really nice. trolly as well yeah so the people we just visited were i don't know one is an elite student the other is like a fey and this one is like a broker so she can manipulate information Oh, do you like the art of this game, guys? It's very yeah. chibi anime-esque. <laughs> yeah, th this is a Japanese game. Yeah. Japanese indie developer. I mean, yeah, but even so, the game is actually pretty elaborate. It, this is the third, ga uh, the second game of uh, three. Nice, just in time. Um, there, there's three games in the series. This is the second game, and there's some side games as well. Um, I'd say the developer did a really great job at making this all. Do you run any of the other games? Um, no, not yet. I've been thinking about it, but arguably the other games are actually more difficult so far. Ah. And I'm not good at concentration heavy games. I'm still planning on trying uh, sometime though. All right, this is Vlad. We weren't sure if it was just Bald misspelled or Vlad misspelled. Yeah. Yeah, vote now. Is it Vlad or is it uh, Bald? <laughs> not sure. <laughs> Well, I know it's now time for last shopping. I think the shopkeep just winks at you. Yeah, the <laughs> shopkeep is actually a character from a pr from the previous game of the series, I believe. It's kind of, they make characters return in a lot of ways. Um, the category is also called Any% Sisu because one of the other characters is also a character of the, uh, yeah, of the previous game. They're a boss in the previous game and they're playable here. Uh, Sola. But this character is the main character then. Yeah, th this is the Dark Witch, uh, so yeah. She's the main character in every game. All right. All right, this stage is my favorite enemy, the ninja. <laughs> the weird rectangles in the air. Ah. Yeah, they, they come out and they throw burning bombs at you. I think it's a great detail to have the dotted line of where they are. Yeah, this, it's at least a bit fair. Um, I love the pigs a lot because when they hit you, you turn into a pig yourself. That's yeah. a pretty good feature as well. 
They actually have the description of they just want you to be delicious as well. <laughs> really well thought out, so yeah. That circus then makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I never paid much attention to it, but yeah. Yeah, well, you're welcome. <laughs> now I can't <laughs> see it. <laughs> well. We got uh, all the main boss defeated. We got our friends. We convinced our friends to work for us. So we better get going after some quick tack smash smashing. And we invade the castle. So every stage has a timer at the bottom. Are there a lot of uh, IL runs of this game? Um, there's, n I don't think there's an IL uh, leaderboard. I don't think they're that popular, but um, we do measure by in-game time. I'll show at the end of the run, there's actually a very nice uh, speedrun card in the game. That's a really great dev then for an indie game. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the dev is Japanese as well, but it's just they put a lot of attention in it for speedrunners as well. So, oh. sorry, what did you say? Yeah, no, here's that refight said the game, right? Oh yeah, boss, uh, uh, boss rush. Yeah. Mega Manish game. Yep. <laughs> and the reason you're not using your like insta kill magic here? Um, yeah, because um, we we have those eight bosses to go, and I don't want to wait for them to hit me. Right. Essentially. Um. There's the final boss, and we're essentially just saving it up for them. Oh yeah, now we're gonna see it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Herbert. You're great. You're not. Amazing shield. I mean, they help us out. Yeah. So actually, in the boss rush, all the fights just take longer. In this case, um, a little, but yeah. but, but with the uh, punishment magic, it still is like three shots if you do it well. So, which I don't. Is there any particular order you're taking these boss fights in? Just what I feel like. Name a uh, left, right, uh, up or down. <laughs> Go top right then. <laughs> top right, sure. Usually I do save the uh, Lily for last. Oh uh, no, sorry, not Lily. Um, what's her name? The librarian one. I forgot her name. Clinzy, that was it. Um, she's the first boss of the game, so just save for last. The boss music is actually really nice, so I'm a bit sad we have to rush through it. It's a speed room. <laughs> uh -huh. Indeed. Oh, that didn't go well. Oh yeah, so something I forgot to mention is that for the punishment magic, I actually use the touchscreen a lot. Um, this game has a PC version, but on the 3DS version, uh, you can have one attack bound to your uh, primary attack, which is the Y button. But your touchscreen also can have an attack locked, and I just keep uh, the uh, punishment magic map to it so that I can easily uh, cheese it bosses. But during this stage, because they are all bosses, I'm just gonna have the punishment magic on my main attack as well. And yeah, so this is the final boss. And... No time. Nope. No, no, not yet. Not, <laughs> not at yet. all. No. Nope. Insta kill. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, Mega Man like. Yeah. New phase. This is not even my final form. Rah! Yeah. So now she's awakened or whatever. Probably absorbed some of the magic energy, magic juice. Now she's scary because her revenge magic is actually scary and it's killed my runs before and I don't want to see it, but I'm going to see it. So let's hope I don't get hit. Um, the revenge magic leaves you on one heart. Uh. There. And that's oh, time. Nice. Time. nice.
Isn't that PB? For, or, well, for, we can see in a second. Oh, in-game time, yeah. Nope, not a PB, but my... F I think it might be a recorded PB. I haven't recorded oh, my PBs right. after all. Yeah. So yeah, it's a PB. Oh, there you go. So just real quick, um, so yeah, these are the currency you buy extra stuff with, like the music hall, etc. You get things unlocked. But one I want to show is the speedrun card. Uh, well, what's the time again? <laughs> uh, the the real time? No. Uh, yeah. What's uh, the real? Twenty two. Twenty two something. Yeah, it should be one of these two. Um, but you can see it anyway. There's just a the card. You can see your individual times. You can see what upgrades you bought. Um, for fabrication purposes, there's also some forbidden items that you can use when you feel really hard and you die a lot. Uh, those are the ones on the right. You see they're not uh, lit up, so we haven't used them at all. Right. And that was the run. Thanks to, for you two to stay with me here. Yeah, really cheers. appreciate yeah, it. Of course. How was it? <laughs> <laughs>